Launches in Terraria are quite the bizarre subclass, as despite including a solid catalogue of weapons and different ammo types, they really aren't used by the majority, as plain old guns usually overshadow them in a number of statistics. I've come to realise that this doesn't necessarily mean all launches are bad though, and so today we're going to be looking at one of my favourites, which actually received technically a significant buff in the 1.4.4 update. Of course I'm talking about the Electrosphere Launcher. Not only does this have quite the wacky name, but it also has a wacky functionality, firing a completely unique projectile. Before we jump into it, if you enjoy these kind of weapon reviews, don't forget to subscribe as it really helps the channel out. Alright, let's see how you can get this thing. As you'd probably guess, the Electrosphere Launcher is a Martian Madness event drop, meaning we'll need to trigger a Martian probe to get the event up and running. To maximise your chances of this, head to the space biome in the outer third of your world and place down a water candle. This will significantly increase the chances of Martian probes spawning. When you see one, obviously don't kill it. Instead, fly into its beam and let it fly off to notify its friends. With the Martians invading, just progress the event as you'd normally would. I'd recommend using a solid crowd control weapon like the Candy Corn Rifle to deal with all the ground enemies. We're on the lookout for the Martian Saucer, which can begin to show up once passing the 30% mark. Once you do get one, don't don't panic, as there is a very simple strategy you can use to defeat them. I'm sure we'll all agree that the first stage is relatively simple, but when moving on to its second, just fly up to an open space and move with the saucer left to right away from its beam. This way you'll be in sync and be able to take it out very easily without taking a million damage from its beam. With a drop rate of 16.66%, hopefully you'll be as lucky as me and get it on your first kill. Alright, let's see how it works. Regardless of the rocket type used, the Electrosphere Launcher will fire an energy emitting ball of contact damage around the cursor, which lasts for approximately 8 seconds. Unlike some other weapons with this bulk ammo, the Electrosphere Launcher will only inherit the stats of the rocket used and not the special effects, meaning if you want to deal the most damage with this thing, purchase a bunch of rocket freeze from your cyborg at night and combine them with shroomite bars that are auto hammer to create deadly mini nukes. With this setup, you can expect to deal some impressive DPS on multi enemy scenarios thanks to the lingering of the energy balls, and although this is good, we can make it a lot better thanks to a feature added in the 1.4.4 update. By opening your general settings and navigating to the bottom of the list, enabling auto fire will essentially turn the launcher into a machine gun. And as this weapon has a really high limit on how many energy balls you can have at once, we can now reach a DPS above the 30,000 mark. Absolute madness. Against enemies, even just a single projectile can be devastating. Here you can see upwards of 500 damage being dealt repeatedly as each goblin spawns. The true power of this can be shown when stacking 10 mimics on top of each other. They pretty much just all dissolve instantly thanks to the infinite piercing. Even against the fast moving tankier mimics, the launcher is able to deal with them ridiculously quickly. Whether you're dealing with large groups of enemies or strong individual ones, it seems to be effective at both. So what about bosses? Of course, being post Gollum, we only really have the lunatic cultist to focus on, which I think it deals with very well. A fight like this would usually be a weakness for this weapon as the projectiles stay in one place, but with the new auto fire feature, this isn't a problem anymore and we can very easily track the cultist's movement wherever it goes. Of course, the other thing a weapon of this nature will be really good at are events. And although in the end game you're mostly done and dusted with events like the solar eclipse, it can still make the process of obtaining any missing drops a breeze. You can pretty much just paint the sky with these energy orbs and watch all the enemies walk into them. As shown in the intro, this weapon is also more than capable of dealing with the pillars. Overall, I do really enjoy this weapon and think it absolutely deserves more attention. However, it does suffer from the usual problem of having a short shelf life. While it is extremely good, I'd still not recommend it for the Moon Lord and beyond, as there are just so many better post-pillar options. What do you think? Is the Electrosphere launcher worth getting, or do you usually give it a miss? Thanks for watching. For more Terraria content like this, drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.